welcome back. Sorry guys, just doing some, trying to do some tackle prep here guys. So today's video, it's Bass and Furious here, I'm trying to organize my tackle, get ready. A lot of guys out here, ladies out here, um, who, who shouts out to the lady anglers, man? That, um, I think the lady's name is Christine or something, Fisher, she's out here killing it. Y'all better, y'all better watch out for her because she is uh, catching 11 pounders back to back cast. Um, but a lot of a lot of guys can't fish. Water's still not right for fishing. Uh, a lot of you maybe can fish, but it's kind of cold and snow's coming or wind. Um, you guys got to go get your boats out to shop and all of that. But uh, what I wanted to do is come to you guys again with another video. Last week I did an unboxing video. This week I wanted to come back to you guys talking about um, just what you guys saw in the intro. Soft plastics. How many bags of soft plastics do we have, guys? How many bags? I mean, look, I'm sitting here. I'm at my table right now. I'm going to show you guys a quick scan. This is my stove right now. And it's not even the box that I'm that I'm filming on, right? Like, this is what this is where it's at when it comes to tackle right now. This is how much tackle that I have. And this is not all my tackle. This is not even remotely close to all my tackle. This is just what I have um, that I'm trying to sort out right now. So what I wanted to do to come to you guys today with, with a video about is about just that. How many green pumpkin red fleck worms do you really need? That's the question. How, how many times have you flipped a bait There's a green pumpkin and a green pumpkin and they both got the same daggone result where the fish bit or he didn't bite? One of the two things is going to happen. So. What I wanted to kind of do to you guys, a lot of you guys are newer anglers that follow me on my channel. Um, if you guys haven't, be sure to follow me on other social media. I'm at Bass and Furious on Instagram, Bass and, underscore Bass and Furious on Twitter, and Bass and Furious on Facebook. Um, be sure to check me out and connect in all those other areas, guys. But what I wanted to do in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the amount of tackle that you guys bring. Um, have you guys ever noticed that when you show up to a body of water and you fish, it's always a guy that comes back that beats you and he says that he threw like two worms he threw a chatterbait all day and he threw a uh, chatterbait with a rage crawl trailer all day and he threw a, a green pumpkin cinco with an eight ounce weight pegged and he beat the brakes off of you that day um, and you threw all of this plus 37 crankbaits um, 13 giant swim baits that you saw Oliver and I throwing and you also threw the hottest new technique that you just saw a YouTube video on. You did all that, and you still lost the tournament. And the same person beat you with a green pumpkin Senko. Uh, weightless, right? Okay, weightless green pumpkin Senko that he just threw and floated over uh, over some grass and let it drop down in the hose, right? Beat you to death, and that's all he threw all day. He threw an ultraviolet free worm, <laughs> pegged. 8 ounce weight and he whoops you, right? Okay, so what I'm trying to do in this video and you guys are wondering like, dude, what are you trying to say, man? Do I got to throw all my tackle away? No! No! Don't throw it all away. What so, I'm trying to do in this video is let you guys know uh, as an angler, at some point, it, there, it's like a, a learning curve and I'm on it right now. So you kind of realize that, hey, I need to buy everything. I need to be ready for everything. I need to buy just this because I need to be ready for everything, but I'm not bringing a bunch of crap. Ow, my back hurts. Uh, I'm not bringing a bunch of crap anymore. I'm just going to bring two rods and a couple of worms. Wait a minute. Now I'm beating everyone. Wait a minute. Now I'm better than everyone. And I bought two rods and a couple of things. Like, okay, so see that transition? There's the guy that thinks he needs everything in the world for tackle who only goes to a tournament and throws a jig, right? You have all this crap. And then you go to a tournament and only throw a jig and a Texas rig. Do really well. And then you come back home and then you say, oh man, I need to buy 13 more packs of Senkos and I need to buy 13 more green pumpkin 48s, uh, whatever. Like you come back and you're like, I need to buy, and then you're like, why? Stop. Why? Why are you doing these things? Why are you buying more stuff? You just did really well. So I took this season myself and I went back and looked at what I caught fish on. And I guarantee you guys, 60% of my fish came on a gambler, why not? Paired up with an Omega Custom Tackle Jig, okay, and a Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver Texas Rigged caught the majority of my fish this year. That, a Wacky Rig, any kind of worm or trick worm on a Wacky Rig, and uh, of course a Drop Shot, um, that's it. 
like those four baits and then you, I'm not I'm not getting into hard baits right now it obviously if you have a special crank bait or uh, this jerk bait that you throw that's right I mean just bring that 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 should be one case a good color because you know where you're going you know where the water if you know it's dark water or dirty water bring your colors for that and then bring some backup colors in case you get there and the water's really clear that's it you only need to bring like your black your green pumpkins and then maybe your one odd color like your your parrot color or something and that's your green chartreuse with black back and that's it guys it's not that complicated you bring the things it's more important to find the spot where the fish are at when you find them you all of us that watch this and you may be getting there but I'm confident enough that if I find them I can catch them the problem is finding them the problem is never catching them the problem is finding them when you find them you can just pull out your Cinco you can skip you can pitch you can flip you can do whatever the case may be when you find them, but the hardest part is finding them. You have to find them. When you find them, we all know how to catch them when we see the fish. When we start to get bites, we know how to key in on that and go to work. The hardest part is finding them. So it's more important to spend time finding the fish, locating areas fish where we be at, as opposed to bringing 973 bags of soft plastic. And you're a co-angler. You bring seven rods and 397 bags of soft plastics seven rods and a backpack that makes it so you fall over when you're getting in the guy's boat what the heck are you doing and then you come back with a big zero and tell everybody that you didn't do good that day because they weren't uh the fish must not have been biting and then somebody else comes in right beside you and says he catches 20 pounds and you know what he threw an eight ounce weight on an ultra vibe speed worm <laughs> worked really slow and threw one rod all day and he kicked your butt so hopefully this video helps somebody Guys, look back over your year. Look back at 2019. Try your best to remember what you caught fish on, what you did good on, where you went. Get that in every color. If it's like three different things, because we all know that we caught a bunch of fish on a lot of things. If you're a chatterbait guy, you've been fishing with that chatterbait all year, you've been catching fish on that chatterbait. Get you a bunch of chatterbaits, chatterbait trailers. Whatever the next two or three baits that you caught a bunch of fish on, get those, and that's it. Just shut it down. Like, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy when it's tournament season. When it's off season, shoot, buy all the stuff you want. That's probably why I got all this stuff. Buy all the stuff you want. Have all the fun you want. Try out all kinds of stuff. That's what I've been doing all winter long. I've been trying out all kinds of different baits, different techniques, different things, different line sizes, different rods, different reels, different everything. Every hottest new technique I see, I've been buying it all because I've been sitting in the house and can't catch no fish, just watching stuff and buying stuff. That's what's been happening. But tournament time. Look back on what's worked for you in the past. Add the new stuff that you just worked on in winter. And then go to work, guys, okay? Bring you three, four, maybe five rods. A couple bags of soft plastics in different colors. It's basically very simple, guys. June bug, green pumpkin, black and blue. And maybe like green pumpkin, watermelon, candy, red, apple, berry, lemon berry, burst. Whatever color they talk about. Um, just bring that. And then... You're good. Um, maybe you're um, this color too. I like a lot of uh, pumpkin seed, especially like on a pumpkin seed is money. I'm gonna I'm give you all that tip right there. If you haven't tried pumpkin seed, try pumpkin seed. It's good. But I'm just saying that just to say, guys, that once you find what works for you, just stick with that and just ride that for the season. It did good for you. Try to build on what did good for you and do even better this next year coming up, guys. So I hope that tip helps you guys. Hope this a little. Uh, uh, video I put together helps you guys um, as you go into your tournament season don't bring all these bags of, of stuff guys don't hop in somebody's boat with a backpack that you can't even stand up with um, get you a couple of cases throw some jigs some chatter baits throw you some weights for your Texas rigs and some hooks some drop shot weights drop shot hooks Ned rig hooks wacky rig hooks a couple things like that soft plastics to match those again like four maybe five colors of your favorite one the one that did the best for you and then very just a tad a couple of things that might be hitting that day that's it get to the water and focus more on finding the fish then keying in really locking in on what you have because if you guys watch these other fishing channels you'll see something like major league fishing where one guy is killing him on a chatterbait over here and swears the chatterbait's the only thing biting the fish and then you go to another area and see that another guy's catching him on a wacky rig like and you're like this guy's saying chatterbait, this guy's saying wacky rig. Which one is it? You know what? It was neither one of them. It was where they went to and then what they did when they got there. That was more important than what they were throwing. The guy in the wacky rig spot could have been throwing a chatterbait, 
but he threw what he was comfortable with when he got to his spot. So keep that in mind. It's about where you get to and then what you do with where you got and if there's some fish there. If the fish ain't there, don't matter what you throw because it don't matter. Ain't no fish, ain't nothing to bite. If you get to where fish are at, then you got to key in on what you're going to throw. It might be few bites in between. You might be flipping that jig at every dock. But when you get to the right dock, bloop, bloop, get them in a the boat and go to and then go back to that weigh-in with your head high because you felt good and you did a good thing um, that day and the results going to be what they're going to be. You can't control what other people did. You can control what you did. So, as always, guys, hopefully this tip helped. Bass and Furious, trying to do a little something different for you guys. Get you guys, get all my guys, all my followers, all my Bass and Furious friends. Get you guys all locked in and ready to go for the season. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys are ready to kick off the season. I sure am. Make sure you stay connected. Follow me on all the social medias. And follow, like this video, share this video with your friends if you think it'll help somebody. Um, do a little better at fishing. As always, I'm out. Peace, peace.